Well, we probably knew this was coming. However, you got a question. How far can we take it? Hi there, it's Brett Hornby here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, talk about the fact that it was announced. I'm just catching up with a few videos and news stories that just done there a couple weeks ago. It was announced that the Calgary Sport and Entertainment Corporation announced that if you want to go to Flames Games or Stampeder Games, as well as Hitman Roughneck Games at the Scotiabank Saladum, that you need to be fully vaccinated with, you know what, with COVID. I was assuming that it was going to be the policy before the home opener that I was going to be needed to be fully vaccinated to go to the game. And this policy is not going to be implemented until the middle of September. But you're definitely seeing more places and cities implementing similar policies that you either got to show proof that you're fully vaccinated or be able to take a quick test and prove that you're negative before you're allowed to come into the game. I know that definitely gets a little touching. I mean, I just definitely can't believe how this whole thing has gone on, depending on where you stand on the political spectrum. But when you have a mass, mass gathering, even more so indoors, it's even more riskier indoors than it is outdoors when you're surrounded by thousands of people for concerts or fans, depending on what the event is. I don't see that much of a problem with it, to be honest with you. I would feel just a little better knowing that uh, people that are surrounding me have either bothered to get themselves vaccinated or at least proven that they're negative with a negative COVID test. I mean, if that's one of the things that we have to do to be able to have a full stadium, and maybe that's also the case where in other municipalities that they could be able to get a full arena or a full stadium that you need to prove that you're vaccinated. It just seems to be tolling the you know same you know general rule. It's not. I mean, this is not like you know your employer forcing you to have to get vaccinated or face consequences. I mean, I think depending on the line of work that you do, it almost is common sense that you should get vaccinated. But uh, I mean, I'm definitely not surprised that it's required for. You know, Flames, Stampeder games. I thought it would have been already implemented by now with the three football games going to, and then at least four because the policy officially is not in place until September 15th. And I understood that uh, if you worked in the NHL, like if you worked just in the bowels of the arena, or regardless of what you do, I think there was a policy that you must have been fully vaccinated to be able to work. And then I heard that... Uh, the NHL, I think, is coming up with a policy that you face severe consequences that if you're not fully vaccinated and you get sick with COVID, that the NHL is still working on that. So I don't see that much of a problem with it. I mean, if it means that you're able to get a full, full stadium of fans, I mean, I'd feel just a little better knowing that the people next to me, that they bother to get themselves vaccinated or at least got tested. I mean, that's why I, I mean, I'm just following the health and science guidelines. I'm, I mean, I have my political views and beliefs, but uh, it's just common sense in my mind that, uh, and also the fact that I don't want to get sick with it where I'm in the hospital for weeks and then still feel like shit for months after then just stayed home for a few days. But uh, it's just not surprising. It's just my feeling on it that uh, I'm not surprised I don't see that much of a problem with it if it means that I get to enjoy, you know, going to events. I don't want to hear all this, you know, well, they got all your information anyway. Well, heck, your driver's license has all your information too. I did see uh, someone post on social media and say, no one gets better or shape up about your driver passport because your license, you know, has all your information and your, uh, you know, medical conditions. And if it inhibits your ability to drive, they need to know all that too. And already, I mean, you can either show proof. I, I'm already prepared that I got my health app for Alberta Health that shows all the vaccinations. I saw all my vaccinations. Including when I was a shithead when I was a one-year-old getting my other shots. But uh, <clears throat> I 
mean, if this is the price you've got to pay, just so we can slowly get into him, build more herd immunity, and so be it. Well, you think? I know it's a fairly controversial topic, but I'm just not surprised that it, it uh, such policy is in place, and uh, we'll see how it affects the tenants going forward, because uh, it's all pretty much all CFL cities, all NHL cities now. I mean, if they ain't forcing your employees to get vaccinated if you work in the Bells of the Arena, it's, it just makes sense in my mind. So anyways, I want to say, if you want to follow along with this Calgary Sports fan's journey, home of the Flames, Hip and Rough, next to Dan Peters, I mostly do talk Calgary Sports on my YouTube channel, but when I've had time, I also do personal vlogs, like an attempt to comedy, and I also do share through some on the road or point event. So if it all sounds like the interest to watch, do follow along with this Calgary Sports fan's journey. You know what you do, just uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and also have my other social media links down in the description below. So I'm going to still say I am fully vaccinated, I did my part, and I'm still planning on keep going to swear that's out of the way, it's just one of the things I need to do. So I'll say go Flames, go Stamps, go Hitman the Roughnecks, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.